Gray and white have been dominant for quite some time now, but it seems like those 50 shades of gray are on their way out. It's no secret that beiges and grayges and taupes are becoming more popular. So today we're gonna talk about seven of our most popular warm neutral paint colors that our clients choose. In this project, we use Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. This is one of those colors that you just can't go wrong with. It goes with pretty much anything. These clients wanted a neutral feel, they wanted it to be warm, and this was a perfect color choice. And in this project, the third time's a charm, we used it throughout the entire first floor. Alpaca is not only one of my favorite animals, but it actually is also the name of a paint color. Sherwin-Williams Alpaca is a nice neutral. It's a little bit deeper, so if you're looking for a little bit more color saturation, this can be a really nice choice. We've used it in bedrooms, in living rooms, pretty much anywhere where you want that neutral look, but a little bit more color. Benjamin Moore Ozark Shadows is another popular choice. Oh, Ozark, that was a great show. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and watch it. It was a really good show, and it's also a really good paint color. So this color is a really rich taupe. It has a natural earthy feel to it. It is a little bit darker, so you wanna make sure that wherever you're using it, that it doesn't feel too dark and that the space can handle it. We used it in a project where we had opened up the ceiling. It was a big space with a lot of windows, and we used it on all the walls, and it was perfect for that space. But you just wanna, again, just check and make sure that the space that you're in can handle the rich color of Ozark Shadows. I really love this color. I've been using it for a long time. It's Sherwin-Williams Egret White. And it's a little deceiving because it's not really a true white. It's really an off-white, but it's creamy. It doesn't really have yellow in it. So it's a nice choice for millwork. We've also used it in offices. We were just looking for a neutral look. You will not egret that decision. This is another one of those foolproof colors that if you're really undecided and you don't know what to pick and you just need to get it done, Benjamin Moore Calm pretty much goes with anything. It mixes in really nice, looks nice next to light colors, dark colors. It's just an overall foolproof choice. Drift of Mist sounds like a bad horror movie, but it's actually a beautiful paint color. Sherwin-Williams Drift of Mist is a nice choice if you're looking for something neutral, but you don't want it too light. It has a little bit more color in it. So we've used it in bathrooms, nurseries, offices, so it's just nice if you want that little bit extra color and plus it has a fun name. This is a color that we have used in past projects. It's Benjamin Moore Balboa Mist. It is a true grayish. It's got great color to it. We've used it in living rooms, bedrooms, main living areas. It's a great neutral color and it's got that nice rich grayish to it. It'll give you that little one-two punch. Hey, you Adrian. Just some things to keep in mind when you're picking paint colors, even if you're looking at neutrals, you want to make sure that you're looking at it in the space so that you can see the lighting. If there's anything else that's going to be in the room, flooring, cabinets, trim colors, you want to put all of those next to each other because even if you're dealing with a neutral light color, sometimes it can still clash or it can be too close in color. And it's never a bad idea to paint some swatches up on the wall just to make sure that you really like it before you paint the entire room.